learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to understand the nature and objectives of financial statements of a company explain the components of profit and loss account detail the form of balance sheet understand the importance of financial statements know the significance of financial statements understand the limitations of financial statement introduction to financial statements of a company meaning of financial statement financial statements are the annual reports of a company with the help of which a company gives information to its owners investors and tax authorities about the financial position of a company it basically includes balance sheet at the end of the year and profit and loss account these days cash flow statement is also considered important while we talk of financial statements nature of financial statements the american institute of certified public accountants states the nature of financial statements as the statements prepared for the purpose of presenting a periodical review of report on progress by the management and deal with the status of investment in the business and the results achieved during the period under review they reflect a combination of recorded facts accounting principles and personal judgments points that explains the nature of financial statements recorded facts these statements are prepared on the basis of facts entered in the books of accounts in the form of data the amounts of various accounts such as cash in hand cash at bank fixed assets etc are taken as amount recorded in the accounting books as these are not based on market prices the financial statements do not show the current financial condition of the concern accounting conventions many conventions are followed by making financial statements the valuation of assets at cost less depreciation principle is followed the items like pencils pens are treated as expenditure in the year in which they are purchased even though they are assets in nature the use of accounting conventions makes financial statements comparable simple and realistic nature of financial statements postulates financial statements are prepared on many assumptions known as postulates such as going concern postulate money measurement postulate realization postulate etc going concern postulate assumes that the organization is treated as a going concern and exists for a longer period of time money measurement postulate assumes that the value of money will remain the same in different periods though there is a drastic change in purchasing power of money the assets purchased at different times will be shown at the amount paid for them in profit and loss the revenue is included in the sales of the year in which the sale was done even though the sale price may be received over a number of years the assumption is known as realization postulate personal judgments personal opinion judgments and estimates are made while preparing the financial statements to avoid any possibility of overstatement of assets and liabilities income and expenditure keeping in mind the convention of convertism the depreciation is provided taking into consideration the useful economic life of fixed assets provisions for doubtful debts are made on estimates and personal judgments in valuing inventory cost or market value whichever is less is being followed while deciding either cost of inventory or market value of inventory many personal judgments are to be made based on certain considerations objectives of financial statements financial statements provide information to the shareholders and other external parties like investors for understanding the profitability and financial position of any business concern they give information in terms of assets and liabilities which provide the basis for making decisions so the main objective of financial statements is to assist the user in the decision making the specific objectives include to provide information about economic resources and 
obligations of a business. Financial statements provide time to time and educate information about the economic resources and obligations of the business to investors and other external parties. To provide information about components of financial statements 1. Generally, there are two types of financial statements that are prepared in the accounting. Those are balance sheet and profit and loss account. These statements are required to be prepared as the report of these statement helps a business to plan, decide and information can be given to external parties about the financial position of the business. Shareholders funds. These funds are subclassified in the balance sheet. Share capital. The following modifications or additions are significant. A. For each type of shares, knowledge of the number of shares outstanding at the beginning and at the end of the reporting period is required. B. The rights, preferences and restrictions of each class of shares should be mentioned. C. There should be clarity regarding the identity of ultimate owners of the company by 1. Disclosing share in respect of each class in the company held by its holding company. 2. Disclosing shares of each shareholder holding more than 5% shares specifying the number of shares held. 3. Disclosure of the following in the balance sheet. Aggregate number of class of shares allotted as fully paid up. Aggregate number of class of shares allotted as fully paid up by way of bonus shares. Aggregate number of class of shares bought back. Components of Financial Statements Part 2 For each class of share capital 1. The number and amount of shares authorized 2. The number of shares fully paid Subscribed, issues and subscribed but not fully paid 3. Value of per share 4. Number of shares outstanding at the beginning and end of the accounting year 5. Rights, preferences and restrictions on each class of shares. 6. An aggregate number of shares with respect to each class in the company held by its holding company. 7. Shares reserved for issues under options and contracts. 8. For a period of 5 years immediately preceding the date at which balance sheet is prepared for. A. Shares reserved under contracts or commitments. B. Number and class of shares bought back. C. Number and class of shares allotted for consideration other than cash and bonus shares. 9. Terms of any securities convertible into equity or preference shares. 10. Calls unpaid. 11. Fortified shares. Reserve and surplus. The reserve and surplus can be classified as Capital Reserve, Capital Redemption Reserve, Securities Premium Reserve, Debenture Redemption Reserve, Revaluation Reserve, Share Options Outstanding Accounts, Other Reserves, Surplus, Additions and Modifications for Disclosing of Reserve and Surplus. A reserve that is represented by earmarked investments shall be termed as fund. Debit balance of profit and loss account should be shown as negative under surplus head. The balance of reserve and surplus after adjusting negative balance of surplus shall be shown under reserve and surplus head even if amount is negative. Share outstanding account has been recognized as a separate item under reserve and surplus. Current and non-current classification and borrowings. Money received against warrants. Money received against share warrant is displayed as a separate item under shareholders' funds. Current and non-current classifications. The balance is divided into current and non-current assets and liabilities. Current, non-current distinction. If it is involved in the organization's operating cycle, is expected to be realized within 12 months. 
held for trading is cash or cash equivalent if an organization does not have unconditional rights to defer settlement of the liability for at least 12 months after the reporting period other assets and liabilities are non current in nature share application money pending allotment share application money not more than the issued capital and to the extent non refundable shall be classified as non current it will be shown on the face of the balance sheet as share application money is a pending allotment borrowings borrowings can be classified as long term loans short term loans and current maturity to long term debt long term borrowings the loans which are repayable for more than 12 months are called to be as long term borrowings short term borrowings the loans that are repayable within 12 months are called as short term borrowings current maturity to long term debts it includes amount repayable within 12 months or operating cycle under other current liabilities with note to account deferred tax assets liabilities are always non current trade payables trade payables should be settled beyond 12 months from the date of the balance sheet or beyond the operating cycle are classified under other long term liabilities provisions the provisions amount of settlement within 12 months from balance sheet date or within operating cycle period from the date of its recognition is classified as short term provisions and shown under current liabilities on the balance sheet current assets and liabilities fixed assets the tangible and intangible assets both are non current if the useful life of the asset is less than 12 months it will still be treated under non current investments investments which are to be realized within 12 months are considered as current assets others are classified as non current assets inventory all inventory is treated as current trade receivables Trade receivables which are realized after the 12 months from reporting date or operating cycle starting from the date of their recognition are classified as other non-current assets. Cash and cash equivalent. It is always treated as current. Uses and importance of financial statements. The various uses and importance of financial statement are Report on stewardship function. It helps us to understand the gap between the target set and target achieved. The owner's expectation can be understood by financial statements. Basis for fiscal policies. The financial statement provide inputs for industrial, taxation and other economic policies of the government. Basis for granting credit. Credit authorities take decisions based on the financial performance of the undertakings. Thus, financial statements form the basis for granting of credit. Basis for prospective investors. Financial statements help the investors to calculate long-term and short-term solvency as well as the profitability of the concern. Guide to the value of the investment already made. Financial statements provide information to the shareholders in taking such important decisions for safety and return on investment. Limitations of financial statements. Aids trade association in helping their members. The associations involved in trading can analyze the financial statements for the purpose of providing service and protection to their members. Help stock exchanges. Financial statements is helpful for stock exchanges in understanding how much transparency is there in reporting on financial performance and enables them to call for required information to protect the interest of investors. The financial statements helps the stock brokers to judge the financial position of business concerns and take decisions. Limitations of financial statements do not reflect current situation. As purchasing power of money keeps on changing, the values of assets and liabilities shown in financial statement do not reflect current market situation 
assets may not realize. Accounting based on certain conventions, some assets may not be realized at the stated values if the liquidation is forced on the company. Bias Financial statements are the result of recorded facts. Accounting concepts and conventions used and personal judgments made in different situations by the accountants. Hence, accountants can be biased at times. Aggregate information Financial statements show aggregate information rather than detailed information. Vital information missing The information about loss of market or seizing of agreement is not disclosed by the balance sheet. No qualitative information. These statements show only monetary information, not qualitative information about the company. They are only interim reports. The profit and loss account prepared under financial statement does not reflect the earning capacity of the business over time. Balance sheet also does not reflect the future risks of the company. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Financial statements are the annual reports of a company. It helps business owners, investors and tax authorities to understand the financial position of a company. Financial statements are prepared on the basis of facts entered in the books of accounts in form of data. Financial statements are prepared on many assumptions known as postulates such as going concern postulate, money measurement postulate and realization postulate. Financial statements give information in terms of assets and liabilities, which provide the basis of making financial decisions. Financial statements provide time to time and adequate information about the economic resources and obligations of the business. There are two types of financial statements. They are prepared in the accounting those are balance sheet and profit and loss account. A reserve that is represented by earmarked investments shall be termed as fund. Borrowings can be classified as long-term loans, short-term loans and current maturity to long-term debt. The loans which are repayable for more than 12 months are called to be as long-term borrowings. The loans that are repayable within 12 months are called as short-term borrowings. The amount repayable within 12 months or operating cycle under other current liabilities with note to account are called as current maturity to long-term debts.